What's the crack lads? Welcome back. Yet another video and today we are talking about the new captains. So a lot of people asking me about this one and if you should use one of your nominating contracts, right? So you can actually check your nominating contracts from this screen. If you go here and just press triangle or Y, you can see the date of validity. So this means that if it's still in, uh, you will be able to use it. As you can see here, I've got nine four star, three five star, and six three star. So, or three five star, yeah, and six three star. Um, and you can see here that the, that I have up until, up until the 7th of October to be able to spin my one of my nominating contracts. And then I've got two that are expiring on the 6th of November. Okay, so just keep an eye on that if you do have it. Now, for these nominating contracts here, lads, right, there are about eight to 10 players a lot of the time. This time we've got 10, right? So we've got a couple of players in here that I can definitely discount straight away. Um, I mean, Samba is a goalkeeper, Borgwine, Sergi Roberto, Gertruida, um, Nacho. I would say, listen, all of these players, right? I'm going to do this review in two stages, right? The first will be that if you are a newcomer at the game, right? If you have literally downloaded this game and you do not have any carryover players, you'd never played eFootball 22 or 23, and you just have very basic squad, right? Any of these guys will be an upgrade to your team. If you don't have a solid right back, you could go very, very, very worse than Reese James. He's a monster. We'll get to him in a second, right? It's similar with Samba. Like when I discount a player, it means that I'm discounting him from the average player's point of view. If you are a brand new newcomer and you don't have a goalkeeper and you've got a five-star nominating contract, um, you know, and you have everybody else, it's all about different perspective. If you need a goalkeeper, he's a good option. Obviously, this goalkeeper is quite poor, but I would say for the rest of the players, you know, it's kind of debatable. Even this guy, he's got high speed, high acceleration and good defense, and he's got 31 levels to train up. So he's quite decent, you know, if you wanted to train him up. He doesn't have great player skills, right? So that's where it all kind of comes into a little bit of personal preference. Will there be better five-star nominating contracts in the future? I definitely think so. Um, even though Lataro Martinez is a beast, uh, I do think that there are a couple of players here that are worth looking at, right? So for the sake of this video, to keep it short and sweet, I'm going to discount Samba, Gortroida, and Bourgeois, right? Bourgeois is a player that I do really like. He's got good speed, good acceleration, good dribbling, and good balance, which is kind of the meta at the moment, is having those players with soul control that are able to like dribble on a dime, but he doesn't have unwavering form, and he also is lacking a couple of key player skills. Now, does that mean that you could buy him and he could be a beast for you? Of course, of course you could um, buy him and he could be a beast for you, and he could be the best five star that you get, but you could also get similar results out of, you know, 20 other wingers, right? So who do I recommend you actually buy if you are looking to spin and get a five-star nominating contract used well first up we're going to take a look at Danilo who I think is the top pick of this pack right so we won't waste any time we're going to go over here to eFootballDB and show you his build right so forget about the graphics and all that lads the ratings the boys are still working on this eFootballDB e this guy is an absolute beast now if you remember his Brazilian card or if you are a newcomer this was one of the best cards right look at the difference in the aggression from the Brazilian pack this card is plus nine in the aggression, which shows you where the gameplay has kind of gone. And this guy has also got 80 speed, 80 acceleration, 80 jump, 83 stamina, and 75 physical contact. There is the build that I've done with him here. You can tweak that yourself. But we've gone for 90 awareness in defending, 90 tackling, 91 defensive engagement, and 85 aggression. He's a beast, lads. He's an absolute monster. He's down as a center or a right back, but this is a center back build. And he's as close as you will get to Tommy Yasu, right? 94 overall as a centre back, he's got interception, blocker, he's also got sliding tackle and fighting spirit, just is, I think he's the number one pick on this, right? Next up, I will say that we probably could say the same about Nacho, very, very similar player, speed, pace, power, Um, only has 19 levels, which kind of like limits him, so I would say that Danilo is a better option here because he's got 27 levels to go and he's on A rating, Whereas Nacho, I just don't like the fact that he's only got 19 levels. If he had 25 levels, maybe, but I don't think you could buy Nacho ahead of Danilo based on all of them things that I just said there, right? Sergio Roberto, as well as I mentioned, high levels, but a very typical right back that you can get on the standard list. Don't waste a five star on him. Um, Bruno, I think there's been multiple versions of Bruno. You probably have one, but Bruno, even though he's got brilliant player skills and good player ID, he just, for me, even though he goes 28 levels, there are a lot better. You need to have kind of fast, explosive um, whole player attacking midfielders, right? So I ruled him out as well. So the next player I want to look at is Reese James, okay? And this is the build that we've gone for here, um, which is a fantastic right back. 
Yes, he's lacking a little bit of defensive awareness, but he makes up with that with brilliant lofted pass and brilliant player skills and also the physical contact, which is very important now if you are able to get in close to a, a kind of a weak enough winger. If he doesn't have high balance over 85, if you, physical contact will overpower balance unless it's in the 85 to 90 zone, okay? I'll have a video coming out on that as well. And then similarly, we also have Mikel Oyarzabal. So this guy was on my Hidden Gem series way back in eFootball 2022, and a lot of people ask me about him. He's a beast attacking midfielder. He doesn't have rapid pace. He is down as creative playmaker, so he can play that central role, and he goes to a 95 overall with this build as a center midfielder, or an attacking midfielder, I should say. He is the only position that you want to play him is there. He's got one touch pass, true passing. He's also got gamesmanship, which seems to be very overpowered. One of my subscribers, Terrahawk, he watches a good bit of the live streams. He said that, you know, having gamesmanship, if you are struggling to get freeze, it's something to keep an eye on. If you do have gamesmanship and you're noticing you're getting more freeze with these players, with the collision system and stuff, something that I will do another video on as well. But excellent high possession, um, excellent acceleration and balance for a player that's actually very, very good on the ball and brilliant player skills. And then probably the biggest pick that people ask me is going to be about um, Latara Martinez, right? So Latara Martinez is very similar to Romario or Mike Lone or any of those run and gun players, okay? Unwavering form. He's also got gamesmanship, fighting spirit, uh, long range shooting and dipping shot. I do like this card a lot. It's got 24 levels to go if you want to train him up. And this is how we've trained him up, right? So he's got nine into shooting, which gives you 88 finishing. He also has 85 balance, 88 acceleration and 89, defen 89 offensive awareness. If you are looking for a running gun center forward and you do have a five star and you need somebody to lead line, Lataro is a fantastic option with this, right? But if you have one, I would definitely say get Danilo, right? Every now and again when they do these nominating contracts, they usually have a brilliant right back or a center back that you can kind of build your team around. So my top three picks will be Danilo, then Lataro, and then James. And then Oriarzabal is kind of harder to fit in and play, but I definitely think he is probably worth a punt as well if you have a right back and center forward position wrapped up and you have two nominating contracts. Of course, you can always get a free nominating contract on the free match pass playing 15 games. So that's it for me. I will be back quite soon. What do you think of my picks? Let me know if you've got any.